Hello students, I hope you all can see me now. Can you see me all of you? Say yes. Can you see me on the screen now? Okay, okay. So, Sarukan Sonoval. Pitam the 29 students are there now. All right. Okay, we'll be starting <clears throat> the chapter internet. In class 8B, I think we have not started this chapter, isn't it? So we'll be doing this now. All right, all right. Now, <clears throat> let us stop chatting. Let us stop chatting. Enough students have uh, entered. Okay, so now let's start our class now <clears throat> here the chapter name is internet and we all know it is very very important chapter because nowadays without internet we are not able to survive isn't it without internet <clears throat> nowadays and uh, during this lockdown period internet is the only source by which we are happy and we can do any type of task any type of activities can be done isn't it we can study also we can do online classes and we can play games also in our uh, leisure times isn't it so by using internet <clears throat> by using internet we have we can do many things we can build projects also isn't it we can build projects and we can watch many uh, knowledge related videos also in the many kind of uh, uh, channels like discovery channels isn't it so all these things can be <clears throat> done in internet okay so now we'll see what is internet at first so <clears throat> let us check what is internet now here are some topics we have to discuss is uh, what is internet and uh, what is Outlook Express, search in the, what is on the internet, all these things we'll be learning, okay? So let us uh, first start from the first topic. What is the internet? Now, what is internet? It is given there, the internet in physical terms is a vast global network made up of many thousands of computer network and individual computers. So in order to, <clears throat> in order to uh, start internet, okay only one computer is not enough just one computer is not enough for that we need more computers okay two or more computers when they uh, <clears throat> get connected with each other and they share informations among each other then only internet will be there okay now <clears throat> let us suppose here we have a is given there it is a vast global network it is a vast global network made up of many thousands of computer networks so i was talking about two or more but here it is given as thousand it may be in lakh also okay <clears throat> now you see we are able to search any type of information in the internet why it is possible why why it is possible how it is possible all these things arises in our mind isn't it now <clears throat> the answer to all this question is very very simple in india in india some some informations may be there in america some informations may be there in other countries different informations may be there isn't it now all those informations are shared by interconnecting among them okay it is shared by interconnecting all the computers if anybody wants to know <clears throat> if anybody wants to know something about uh, uh, new zealand okay something about new zealand then whenever you type something then from new zealand we will be getting the information and how we have we have got the information just because the computers of new zealand are connected with the rest of the world is it clear 
so now <clears throat> here it is given internet works internet works because these computers because these computers and computer can all speak the same language called tcp ip okay we will come to this topic what is tcp ip i'll be explaining you now <clears throat> before that i was telling you that all the computers when they interconnected when they interconnect with each other internet is formed understood now <clears throat> we can find any topic we can find information on any topic like uh, let us suppose we want to find any uh, information on the on any disease let us suppose we want to find uh, information on uh, cancer let us suppose okay now we are able to get those information from internet why it is possible why it is possible just because all the medical fields are also interconnected with the rest of the world is it clear now since everywhere all the computers are interconnected with each other so any moment when we want any type of information we get that information at that instant is it clear let us suppose <clears throat> uh we want some information okay we want some information uh about aeronautics okay about aeronautics aeronautics is a department of science where we build aeroplanes and all okay <clears throat> so i am just explaining in your standard if we explain in higher standard then you won't be able to understand so there are people who do uh, aeronautical engineering okay once they do aeronautical engineering they will be recruited they will be recruited and uh, they will be getting a, a a job in the branch of aeronautics okay now in order to find any type of information in order to find any type of information about aeronautics we just have to type in google isn't it just we need to type in google what is aeronautics and uh, uh, <clears throat> uh colleges top colleges for aeronautical engineering you are searching let us suppose then in google when you search automatically the name of the colleges will be highlighted why it is highlighted because those colleges are also linked with rest of the world so in the rest of the world we are there understood so if you have some information in your computer that you want to share with the rest of the world your computer has to be connected with the rest of the world is it clear your computer must be connected with the rest of the world is it clear okay so now <clears throat> all this sending of information from one place to another from one computer to another takes place just because of just because of tcp ip just because of tcp ip all this message is sending and receiving a uh, task are been done what is tcp tcp full form is transmission control protocol and ip means what internet protocol okay now without using <clears throat> without using these two protocols we won't be able to send any type of messages or we won't be able to receive any type of messages because the other person also will not be able to send so we need to we need to use this two protocols okay so all these things are inbuilt in our computer system we just have to send the messages we don't have to break our head in finding the tcp ip protocols all these things are being designed for us we just have to use it okay for sending any messages in mobile also for sending any messages in mobile we don't have to send we don't have to set the tcp ip we just have to type the message and send we have not bothered about any kind of protocols so where this protocol lies the protocol lies within the computer okay the computer will be following the protocols so from that time i was talking i was saying protocol protocol all the time no what does this protocol means so all of you write down protocol means set of rules 
okay protocol means what a set of rules now some rules are being bound to us some rules are bound to us and by using that rules only we have to use the internet understood so if you don't use that rule if you if you don't obey the rules of internet then we won't be able to send any kind of messages okay now here <clears throat> now here uh, transmission control protocol and internet protocol these two things are these two uh, <clears throat> protocols are responsible for sending and receiving messages i'll be explaining you part by part in short i will be explaining okay transmission control protocol will be breaking the main message you after this uh, live session is over the video will be automatically saved in the uh, youtube so whenever you want to uh, <coughs> go through again once again then you can go through okay you will understand better for next time now a single message if you want to send let us suppose you want to send one video to your friend okay now that video will be broken up into small 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 pieces the video will be broken up into small small pieces okay and those small small pieces are being broken by tcp that is transmission control protocol okay now <clears throat> the small small pieces are known as packets they are known as packets is it clear understood all of you so the small small pieces will be sent to different different networks and how it is sent it will look <coughs> about the it will uh, it will think uh, it will be going in the route where the network traffic will be very very less understood now there are some network uh, there are there are some towers in which uh, <clears throat> many processes might go on so the tower may be busy so it will be finding some other tower where the network will not be busy and through that network only through the network only the small small packets will be going okay now <clears throat> why it is broken up into pieces that is the most important question why it is broken up into pieces the whole thing the whole thing in order to send from one place to another if we break those messages if we break the break that big message into small small parts the small small parts will be going in different different routes and it will be reaching the destination very fast it will be reaching the destination very fast is it clear so that is the only reason messages are being broken up into pieces okay now <clears throat> here is given that for most people for most people stop chatting all of you stop chatting so here for most people internet is the same thing as the world wide web internet is the same thing as the world wide web what does it mean so <clears throat> we also before we had this knowledge of internet we also thought that internet and world wide web this both are similar okay this both are similar there might be some difference in the terms the, the term meanings but <clears throat> there is a similarity there is a similarity between both okay now internet is what internet is the whole thing internet is the whole thing the process by which all the computers are being connected with each other is known as internet and world wide web means what there is a <clears throat> there is a machine there is a machine that will be binding all the message all the informations across the world and then it will be collectively stored in a central computer okay we'll be studying about a central computer also <clears throat> in the rest of the chapter okay so now here here some uh, these things are not important let us uh, let us come to this topic okay so here it is given the internet is a very effective way to buy and sell products we all know isn't it we all know 
by using internet only what we are doing by using internet we are buying products in flipkart and sometimes we can sell also by using olx you all have heard i think yeah now <clears throat> here what is arpanet what is arpanet here it is given this is the first this is the first network this is the first network understood before this internet was evolved <clears throat> before this internet was evolved arpanet was formed arpanet was formed and slowly slowly the network grew bigger and nowadays we are getting internet in the whole world and each and every person can access to it when they are connected to the internet okay so arpanet is a kind of agency in united states of america <clears throat> before uh, a long time back okay long time back when uh, uh, three or four organizations three or four organizations what they have done they were uh, interconnecting with each other just to send and receive messages okay <clears throat> now uh, this was uh, special this was basically used in one defense sector okay when you searched arpanet then you will be finding arpanet was formed by a defense department of america okay and then the defense department was using uh, this arpanet just to send and receive messages among themselves during during the war <coughs> during the war uh, when uh, uh, important messages could not be sent by uh, sending soldiers and all this was sent through internet understood so slowly slowly when this arpanet uh, became famous all the universities also and many other branches also they all get joined together and after getting joined what they have done <clears throat> they have formed a big network slowly 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 it grew bigger it grew bigger and then nowadays the whole world is interconnected with each other understood so <clears throat> now if somebody ask you how internet originated then you will be saying that you will be replying that arpanet is the first uh, <clears throat> first internet being used by defense department of america and before <clears throat> uh, when this arpanet was built there was only four places where this net was used and all the four places were interconnected with each other and slowly slowly when this become efficient the network grew bigger 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 and then nowadays we are getting the whole world wide web okay all right <clears throat> now here in order to in order to get access to your internet now here i am able to access internet isn't it here i am able to access internet <clears throat> why i am able to access internet in my laptop why i'm able to access uh, internet in my laptop just because my laptop is connected to wi-fi and that wi-fi is also a, a type of internet connection isn't it so to get connected to our <coughs> to uh, to to get in order to get connected to internet our computer <coughs> must be having a modem have you all heard this modem a modem must be there okay because a modem converts a modem converts a digital data into analog signal to send over the telephone lines to your isp and converts receive signals into digital form now this part is very important what is the function of modem is very very important okay <clears throat> nowadays we are using wi-fi wireless devices are there nowadays available in the market but when the when uh, wi-fi devices were not there where when wireless devices were not there how we uh, how we use internet internet was send messages were sent by using wires they were sent by using wires now it is also wire technology is there bsnl is providing airtel is providing so 
before when this wireless connections were not there uh, wired connections were used okay now <clears throat> let us suppose i have a wire let us suppose this is a telephone wire let me show you one wire let me show you one wire i am not able to find any wire yes so let me show you one wire let us suppose this is the wire okay this is a mobile charger okay i'm just taking the wire now let us suppose <clears throat> we want to send any messages through our computer okay through our computer we are sending message and the message will be sent through this through this wire i hope you all can see this wire now now this wire <clears throat> how do messages go through this wire isn't it now one important thing is that through wire through wire only analog signals can pass write down all of you just note down through wires only analog signals can pass understood but in our computer we have all the messages we have all the images we have all the videos in digital form understood the message that you want to send from your computer to another computer is residing in your computer in digital form in mobile also whatever things you can see now you can see me in the mobile no you can see me in the mobile how you can see me in the mobile the things that you can see in the mobile everything is what digital everything is digital so through this wire only analog signals can flow and in the mobile in the mobile <coughs> through this mobile only analog signals can flow and in your mobile digital uh, signals are there how you will send through this wire digital signals cannot go cannot pass okay so for that what we have to do whatever digital content we have in our computer must be converted to it must be converted to analog then only it can be flowing let us suppose this is the computer let us suppose this is the computer and inside the computer we have a we have all the files in digital form picture or in uh, or videos or audios whatever it is in the picture uh, in the computer whatever file you have all are in digital form okay now when the message in the computer will be sent through the wire before sending it through the wire it will be converted into analog the digital will be converted to analog it has to be converted in analog once it is converted to analog it can easily flow through the wires understood or not is it clear i told you that through wire only analog signals can flow but in the computer digital <coughs> formats are there maybe it may be in the form of image it may be in the form of video it may be in the form of uh, audio understood so those digital format objects must be converted to it must be converted to analog because through wires only analog signals can flow so who does this conversion who is responsible for this conversion only modem is responsible modem is responsible for the conversion of digital data inside the computer to analog signals through the wires understood all right now let us suppose <clears throat> this is another computer okay and this computer want to send okay this computer has sent you one message to this computer okay so through this <clears throat> computer messages came in analog form in this way slowly slowly it came and it is supposed to reach so at the final destination just before entering the computer it has to be converted it has to be converted can anybody tell me just tell me reply me here in the comment section just reply me why it has to be converted messages are coming in this way in this way it is coming 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 slowly slowly it is coming 
it is supposed to reach and just before entering the computer just before entering the computer the message has to be the message must be converted why tell me can anybody tell me i'm just waiting for your reply The internet speed is slow on mine mobile. Obinam Bora. I'm just waiting for your. Yes, very good, Ayushman. Ayushman have answered because computer can only understand its own language that is zero and one. That is the computer understand. This computer will be understanding only, only. Digital language that is zero one language it will be understanding Understood. Yeah, because through the wires what is coming analog signals is coming and That analog signal has to be converted to digital then only it will be Entering the computer Understood most of the students have uh, <coughs> Replied because they are in machine language No, that is not the Perfect reply. Bastop Jyoti, yes, because it is an analog form and it has to be converted so that the computer can access it. Very good, Bastop. You can be a computer engineer someday. <laughs> all right. So now <clears throat> let's come to the next topic. I hope you all have understood now. Modem, what is modem? Modem is a device that is used to convert <clears throat> from digital form to analog form and from analog form to digital form okay we'll be getting this in class 9 okay or maybe in class 10 i think it is in class 10 yeah in class 10 you will be getting okay so now here this in this note section it is not visible properly i think uh, in this note section something is there you can see just underline that part tim berner lee is the founder of the world wide web tim berner lee is the founder was the founder of the world wide web underline this part so this question might come okay and here also in the note your data passes through a series of servers to reach the final destination now let us come to the topic that is server what does this server means what does this server means we have to <coughs> uh, study on that okay now server means what well, when you go to hotel when you go to hotel if you call for some server then who will come the waiter will come or not isn't it the waiter will come the waitress will come isn't it what they will be doing they will be providing you the service necessary service isn't it so server means well the server means the one who is serving you some uh, <clears throat> serving you with your necessities with your requirements understood for example for example if somebody if somebody wants information from me if somebody wants information from me then what he will do he will be requesting me to send that information is that it so now <clears throat> since i have got the information and he want to access it isn't it he is will he will be considered as the client and i will be considered as the server because i am serving the information understood since i am serving the information and he wants the information from me he will be the client and i will be the server so whenever you are searching any information in google you are the client you are the client because you want to know the information isn't it you want to know the information okay so now since you want to know the information you are the client and once you type enter once you press enter then information will be provided from the other side and from the other side whoever is sending you the information is the server is it clear 
So, <clears throat> my computer will be the server if I have the information and I am sending the information to some other person. From my computer, if I send any information, then my computer is the my computer is the server. And if I am <clears throat> if I am uh, uh, getting some information from some other computer, then the other computer will be the server. Is it clear? The one who is serving the information is known as the server. Okay. So, in short, <clears throat> in short, I have explained that the one who is serving you with the information is known as the server. Okay. Is it clear? All right. So, now you can see here many computers. Many computers are there. All these computers are acting. When they are connected, when they are connected here, <clears throat> When they are connected here, interconnected among each other, then they can send information. Okay, from the first computer, from this computer to this computer, they can send. Okay, let us suppose this computer, let us this computer, okay, wants to, want some information from this computer. Okay, let us suppose this is, let me write down here, here there is no, uh, no. There is no <clears throat> pen also is not there let me yeah let me use this stick yeah so now yeah so this computer wants information from this computer okay the computer where i have marked one tick okay and the computer where i have marked double tick just check the difference, okay? The first computer wants information from the port computer. Then the server will be which computer? The fourth computer will be the server. Okay? And the client will be the first computer. Similarly, if the fourth computer wants information from the first computer, then the first computer will be the server and the fourth computer will be the client. The one who requests the information is known as client. Is it clear? That topic is also over. Now, we will come across some of the types of internet connection. Okay. Broadband is there. Broadband is there. Here we have to see the, uh, <coughs> the function and uh, how it is connected. Okay how it is connected here is given there it is a high speed data trans transmission in which a single cable can carry a large amount of data at once a single cable will be carrying a large amount of data okay and nowadays most of <coughs> in most of the schools and colleges broadband connection is there because the speed is very very fast okay and here <coughs> Uh, the most common type of internet broadband connection are cable modems okay cable modems will be there and uh, without using now whenever you will be subscribing for any broadband connection then they will be providing you with the model okay modem will be provided by them and the cable modem is there and one more type is there dsl modem is there okay now dsl modem is used along with your telephone Okay, along with your telephone, not mobile phone, okay, along with your telephone, receiver phone, in old days we had, no, nowadays also, in some of the department we have telephone connections, okay, so, along with the, the modem or modem device, a <coughs> telephone also will be provided, so those type of internet connection are known as what, DSL modems, and in cable modem, cable operator, cable uh, wires will be there, no, all of you know, no, in more, uh, cable connections we have in our television also the wire which comes along with that wire one modem small device will be given and through that device only you will be able to use internet okay all right so <clears throat> here it is given because of its multiple channel capacity broadband has multiple channel capacity okay it has started to replace baseband before what was there before broadband came what which uh, technology was used baseband was used so write down okay write down all these informations 
so which technology was used before broadband base band was used and what is base band the single channel technology okay the single channel technology okay originally used in most computer network okay so broadband is faster than base band is it clear <clears throat> now local access what does this local access means now it is same like uh, calling someone who stay locally let us suppose you are calling someone who's, who is uh, residing in somewhere in jorhat then the call will be considered as a local call if you are calling someone who is residing in delhi let us suppose then it will be std call okay so standard trunk dial <coughs> call okay so now here <coughs> it is given any user anywhere in the world can access to the internet for the cost of a local phone call in some fortunate areas of the world there are no call charges at all now in some, there are some places where internet connection charges are not there okay all right now what is on the internet let us come to this what is on the internet now on the internet we have information lots of information on just every topic okay and it may be current affair it can be astrophysics it may be games also online games also we can play and it may be a tourism related and uh, <clears throat> there are almost many uh, types of information any types of information will be getting in the internet okay and the internet has always been the home of academic information if you want to if you want to uh, <clears throat> get some academic information like school purpose and education purpose then internet nowadays we during this lockdown period internet is the only one through which we are uh, able to read able to study isn't it so it is given here and uh, not only that it is used in public sector bodies uh, government department it is used in individuals okay and most commercial organizations also it is used and apart from that we can play online games also this online games part you read by yourself okay and uh, <clears throat> berlin can play online chess against user in tokyo you all know this part no you can play with anyone now it is pubg is there no pubg is a kind of online multiplayer game okay all your friends need not to be in the same place while playing wherever they are they can play with uh, play among themselves isn't it by shouting and crying and uh, you all know isn't it pubg people they all are mad sometimes suddenly they will be shouting eh? and sometimes i have my my brother also play pubg so i am quite experienced with this problem so suddenly if somebody comes near you and he will be shouting oh he's coming sharp uh, uh, shoot shoot like that no you'll be shouting so we can play <clears throat> uh, without internet connection can we play no we cannot play we have to use the internet connection now comes news group what is news group okay news group is kind of bulletin board and uh, let us suppose you can see here now one bulletin board is there in the uh, in your book also it is there in the bulletin board <clears throat> all the informations are stored in small 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 formats okay and you can read on each of the you can read each of the informations mentioned there and the information may be of different different uh <clears throat> different different genre it may be of sports it may be it may be uh for uh, <clears throat> the economy of the world or it may be some breaking news something like that okay so it is given there you can search for a specific interest and find posting or messages okay and you can discuss also you can do debate also here okay one topic will be given and based on that topic the topic will be highlighted on a board okay and <clears throat> based on that topic people will be discussing you all see news channels no generally it is used generally it is used in news channel rooms 
in news channel one uh, a big thing will be there uh, when some graph will be there some informations will be there and on that information two or three <coughs> person will be discussing on the same topic isn't it so that is one as what well, news groups and radio also no radio also we can listen isn't it there are some online radio channels through that radio channel also we can <coughs> listen to the uh, broadcasting broadcasting service okay all right now let's come to email email is a very important uh, <coughs> topic because we all know without email id nowadays our task is incomplete whenever we sign up to any of the application email is required isn't it so what is email email is a kind of electronic mail which is sent from one computer to another and <coughs> the message will be sent to the inbox of that person and the person uh, do not have to wait for the message to arrive just like before this email services were not there we were dependent on postman no we were dependent on letters isn't it you'll be writing letter in this way and then putting in the envelope putting some stamps and going to post office inserting in the letter box and after inserting in the letter box the postman will be taking out and it will be taken to the office manager and then a many tasks are done and it will be transported by using some vehicles and the vehicle will be putting uh, in the letter box again from the letter box postman will be collecting and it will be so long process so a single a, a small letter takes seven to eight days depending on the uh, distance also isn't it so nowadays in one click our message is sent so fast it is nowadays isn't it it's so fast nowadays in one click our message is sent so the person does not have to wait whenever he finds free okay just now see just after this online live session if somebody have sent any message in whatsapp i will be able to see that message or not it will be there in the chat list obviously it will be there understood or not so i don't have to wait nowadays the person have sent me and it will be residing in the inbox of my mail okay so some types of email services we all know yahoo mail is there gmail is there and most of most of us nowadays have what gmail because it is very easy to create yahoo mail also is very easy but <coughs> gmail is used by most of the people around the world and why it is used just to send what message okay electronic message shopping also i don't have to explain a thing by using flipkart mintra and many other <coughs> uh, online uh, shopping sites are there you know through that we can shop you can see many of many uh, uh, products are displayed on the screen isn't it camcorder is there and uh, many other things are there mobile are there so we can shop and there may be some discount also some offers also might be there isn't it so <coughs> So since you are not able to so let me pull it up a little bit yeah so many shoe also you can buy many other things you can buy okay and <clears throat> while buying uh, while buying all these items all these products through online one disadvantage is there and the disadvantage is that we are not able to uh, go through that product visualize visually we are not able to uh, see isn't it we are not able to touch also so in whatever condition it arrives we have to check and if we are not able to uh, uh, if we if it is not up uh, to the mark then we return it back again and there are some products which is not <coughs> returnable and the amount which is deducted is not refundable so so whenever you buy something it is better you check the rating customer rating customer reviews and all okay then only you buy simply you don't buy okay only when it is required okay sir has told to buy so i will buy today it is not like that okay only when you need that take permission from your parents and then you buy chatting we all know we all are doing chatting these days no in lockdown all are doing chatting hello how are you isn't it we all know nowadays whatever information we want to give we send it in the 
a WhatsApp group. Is it? So chatting uh, <coughs> uh, is a program where we can send and receive text intent, uh, instantly. You are typing now, you press send, it will be sent to the person instantly. Okay. WhatsApp is uh, the perfect example of for all this. All right. So now <clears throat> the remaining part, the remaining part will be doing tomorrow. Okay. And tomorrow I'll be, I will be uh, telling you before only, today only suddenly I decided that I should go on. Okay. So we all will stop and go through whatever we have done till to, uh, today till now whatever we have done so go through and if you have doubt you can ask me tomorrow okay and uh, <clears throat> during the live session only you can directly send me the question your question I'll be answering you okay is it clear all right so now just after this video is over okay just after this video is over the video will be automatically saved in YouTube okay it will be automatically saved in youtube you just have to come to my channel and then you will find the video so those who have missed my class those who have missed my class for them also it will be beneficial since they will, will be they, they they can view they can view the <coughs> video later on is it clear is it clear all of you so today will be ending our class here only okay bye bye all of you bye 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 take care all of you I'll be informing you about the class, okay? When I will be taking the class, I will be informing you. Bye-bye.